A Circle of Life. This is a poem by Carly Nash. This is my final poetry presentation. I hope you enjoy, Mr. Chalenza. Okay, so as far as rhyme and rhythm go in this poem, there's no consistent rhyme or rhythm pattern. The uh, poet tends to use other key words and uh, moves the, and other key words and timing things when she speaks in order to move the poem along and give it a good flow when she speaks. She tends to not use any rhyme or rhythm. As far as the rhythm goes, there's no consistent uh, line use per, no consistent line length. So there's no consistent iambic feet in the poem. She tends to switch it up. Some lines are only a couple words long and only a few syllables, whereas some are 15 words and over 20 syllables. So she mixes up her length. However, that does not affect the rhythm. She's very good at moving the poem along quite well. And she does a great job of keeping the poem flowing. And when she, when she recites it, and even when you read it, it's very clear that she has a good flow to her poetry. Now let's talk about some of the poetic devices we, I found. So this poem uses a series of unique poetic devices in order to relay their message and create more descriptive imagery for the reader. These specific poetic devices enhance the poem and assist in helping the poet to get their point across. So the first one right here, this is a picture of like a paradox, like a visual paradox. And the line in the poem that's a paradox is that existence is a hard thing to keep when you stop trying. So the meaning behind that is that it's not something we often think about. It's not like we put a lot of effort into keeping our existence, but it is something we do every day in how hard we work and what we do. The next poetic device is you are the conscience inside your own head. So here we have the visual. This is both a personification of the con conscience inside your head and a metaphor comparing you to the conscience inside your head. So they're saying that the, con the poet is trying to say that the conscience inside your head is the thing that helps you make decisions and it's the thing that derives who you are as a person. The third poetic device I found is, this is a metaphor, life is like a carousel, always going forward, never going back. This is a metaphor comparing you to the, um, this is a metaphor comparing you or your life to a carousel in the sense that life goes on, life doesn't stop, you have to keep moving the same way a carousel would. Here are some more poetic devices I found. So the first one is fight for your life. This is hyperbole. Um, obviously you're not physically fighting or verbal jousting with another person. You're fighting in your work ethic and what you do in order to keep moving. This enhances the poem and shows that like your life is important and you're fighting in the sense that you're working hard every day in order to be better. The next one I found is you create your own destiny. This is a cliche, we've heard this ever since we were children, that you can be whatever you want in life and that you create your own destiny. Another one is repetition. So I'll read the line here for you. What do you, do, what do you want to be in life? What will you be and what is your purpose in life? So they start, first of all, that's three consecutive questions. So they're repeating in the sense that it's a question. And the second part is they begin every question with the word what. This is putting emphasis on the questions and making the reader think about it a little deeper. The last one is, if you worry, these things will turn into burdens. These things is referring to the questions right there. Uh, the questions are, if you worry about these questions, meaning think about it too much, it'll just become a problem for you. If you just let them hang around and let the answers come to you, you will find them. Next is the theme of this poem. The theme of this poem is that life goes on. So I, like, I compare it to like the sunrise. The sun will rise tomorrow, no matter how good of a day you had yesterday or how bad of a day you had yesterday. The sun waits for no one. So it's important to focus on what you did and what's going to happen as opposed to what happened in the past and how that looked. So it's important to not hold on to things in the past and that you never know how long you have. So it's important to live every day to its fullest. The sun will rise tomorrow, no matter how bad of a day, week, year you had last time. The sun will rise tomorrow and it's important that you go and attack that day. And I feel that that's the theme of this poem. Last one is my opinions on the poem. I thought this was a great poem. It was very mo motivational. Obviously it was a motivational poem. And I think one of the key things that makes a motivational poem good is that it's relatable, that the problems the author is going through and the things they have to get through to make the poem motivational is relatable and something we all have to deal with. And I think that was a great, greatly exemplified in this poem. And also I thought it was uh, 
something that several people in our society could hear today in the sense of not hanging on to things in the past and moving on and knowing that tomorrow's going to happen no matter what. Thank you, Mr. Chilenza.